Now it's time to go back in time. Don't change the poopy diapers. Just play it off like that. Doesn't, you know, act like it doesn't make sense. You know, and just, honey, you know, plug your nose. And that's just a way to kind of get by that if, if, if you're trying to get by it. Just change the number ones. I think the hard, the hardest part right now is is like it's like my daughter is two, and changing girl diapers for me is actually way easier than the boy diapers because like the, the the dude wants to pee at you all the time. And that's that's <laughs> stressful. <laughs> like it's like you're sitting there like trying to like block yourself. It's not that's not nearly as fun. <laughs> we just went back in time. Ryan Stanek, Seattle Mariners reliever, welcome back to Intentional Talk. Eight months later, have you gotten any better at changing your son's diaper? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's a little bit better not peeing every time the diaper gets open, <laughs> but his poops are so much worse. It's, wow. it's so gross now. It's so much worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. You got a beautiful family, your wife, your kids. Um, you guys move up to the Pacific Northwest to Seattle. I'm a Pacific Northwesterner. I'm from Vancouver, B.C. Um, how are okay. you settling in up into Seattle? You love it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's definitely one of the prettiest places I've I've ever lived. Um, the weather's finally starting to turn to where it's like nice. So I think the the initial part when we got up there, my wife was like, "All right, it's raining every day, all day." We leave for a road trip, and she's like, "Well, it's rained for I don't know three straight days, so we haven't even been able to leave the house." Um, but as soon as the weather started to turn, she's like, "It's it's pretty it's pretty awesome living up there." Yeah, you're getting into it now. The joke is it rains twice a week there, once for three days, once for four. But now you're, um, you're, in, the great, you're in the great spot of it all now. Um, for fun stuff, what are you guys doing? You guys get to the aquarium yet? You take the kids down to the Pikes Place Market? Um, we've done that a couple times when we had some family in town. Um, the hard part is with, with being up there, like, we don't get a lot of home off days, so we don't have a, a whole lot of time to do anything because our travel is so much further than everybody else in the league. So, like, most of our off days end up being on the road or we travel on the off days. Um, like, we had an off day but uh, this uh, uh, right before this last series, but we flew out on the off day, so you don't really get, like, much time to do stuff at home just because the travel, like, difficulty for us kind of, like, wipes out some of it unfortunately yeah well i hope you get a nice off day hey i'm just curious and, and sierra and i we're, we marvel at your hair because it's glorious it is <laughs> you, you you got that you got that seattle grunge rock star yeah. hairdo and i'm wondering if that was part of the choice of going there because you here's you and eddie <laughs> vetter side by side almost twinsies <laughs> ryan Oh my God! No, it had nothing to do with that. But I do, I do feel like I fit kind of right in, which, which is, uh, it's nice. I can kind of just blend in everywhere I go. Now, Ryan, I, I got a question for you about also being the Pacific Northwest. I was born in Seattle. Have you tried gooey duck, or do you know what it looks like? <laughs> tried what? Gooey duck. What? Okay, what is gooey duck? It's like a, it's a clam. But it looks really phallic. I don't Google it right away. But if you I'm have not a eating that. <laughs> yeah. So the answer is no. I'm pretty. I'm, pre I'm pretty like, adventurous no. with food, but that that sounds negative appetizing. Okay. Just okay. Absolute no. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's get back to baseball. Uh, the Mariners have a special post-game celebratory dance. Did you have to practice it, or did it just come to you naturally? Um. Actually, the first time I came in to get a save, I uh, walked up to Cal and I go, hey, dude, how the hell do we do this? And <laughs> basically, I got in the circle, and they, they were just like, right, left, right, left, rotate, right, left. And just, yeah, I was just like, okay, that's way easier than I, than I thought it was going to be. Right, left, right, left, rotate. It's it's simple. Yeah. It's super simple. Yeah. So, Ryan, last week you and your wife Jessica celebrated your fifth wedding anniversary. Congratulations. What did you get her? Uh, I got her a bag. Yeah, I, I got her. I got her a bag uh, that she'd been wanting for a while. So that was that was pretty. It was pretty easy. It was actually our our third wedding anniversary, oh. but our fifth total. So yeah. Okay. So it's still like for the th for the third anniversary, I think it's 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 supposed to be like leather, and so I got yep. her a bag for a that. A handbag one. always slaps, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, it was. No, that, it, that, that's that, good. The leather you know one was super too. easy. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I have I have it saved on my on my uh, uh, Safari pages on my phone, so I can uh, always remember like 
what I need to be looking for per year. So I, I, I try wow. to keep it uh, keep it there for me. Oh yeah. Gosh, he's coming for husband of the year, Deb. He's taking the crown. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, number five is wood, believe it or not. So when you do get to that fifth one, it's wood. I, I did a I did a, a guitar for my wife when I and I wrote oh, lyrics that's on awesome. the back of it. Yeah, so that's really that's cool. A, that's a good. That that's a good bag. idea. I might steal that actually. Yeah. yeah thank you. Okay. Hey, speaking <laughs> that's of good a good ideas. one. I, I gave you a big props on that. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, speaking of good ideas, the Mariners have one of the best ideas for in-game celebrations: the hot dog drops. I mean, this thing is awesome <laughs> dropping. I want to know a who has caught the most hot dogs on your on your team, and b who would be rivaling Joey Chestnut or Kobayashi for the hot dog eating contest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't know if anybody has thrown any hard enough to get close to the field yet, unfortunately, but they need to start dropping a couple by the bullpen because I think some of the bullpen guys would appreciate a dog here and there. But uh, I don't know who could probably eat the most hot dogs. We. We were trying to get Saucedo to do it when we were in Toronto, see if he could eat eat nine, in, like one per inning, but he wouldn't take any of the bullpen, so that didn't that didn't really fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I love it, man. Um, hey, Seattle, um, you're out there. It's beautiful this time of year. Um, any ambitions to get out on the water? Because listen, you grew up in Missouri. Um, you go to high school in, in Missouri, you're born in St. Louis. You go to school in Arkansas. Not exactly around all the fresh seafood. Now you have a chance to get on a boat and catch a salmon. Anything in there? Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Uh, I live in Tampa, so like I'm always by the water in the off season. So it's 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 not anything too crazy. But everybody that's been in Seattle for a while keeps telling me like. When we finally get a nice home off day, you got to go out on Lake Washington and like rent a boat and hang out. And I'm like, I, I think I'm going to take him up on that at least at least sometime when we finally get a, a, a nice home off day to relax. Nice. Hey, um, and Sierra and I are, and Kevin, who's not here with us, unfortunately, today, but we're a little bit jealous because we did, we didn't get any tickets or an invite to the gun show um, that you were throwing on around with these uh, with these Mariners cut off jerseys. Oh, can we talk about these right here? Because these are sick right here. Um, I get lost, by the way, just just looking at those biceps in there. Um, how sweet are these jerseys? There's not much there. Oh, those are awesome. I keep tell I keep telling them to bring them back. I like I'd be all in on rocking rocking the what is it? the turn forward the clock ones like that should yeah. be like the next city connect is like bust out the turn ahead the clock ones because i mean you might as well make them like a bit absurd if you're gonna do them like you, you might as well go out on a on a limb and try to try to get a little wild yeah i like that okay so you've been on the show before you are a friend of the show uh, you know that we do secret santos i'm wondering if you if you can conjure up a, a secret for us that we don't know because we know a lot about oh, you God. now oh a secret i don't i don't know if it's i'm a pretty open book i don't know i think probably probably most everything that is kind of out there i don't know I've, maybe that i'm just a huge nerd like that i like all like the nerdy stuff i like anime i like video games i mean i pretty much got the whole bullpen playing pokemon go again just because we have nothing better to do we travel a ton so we're doing that now so so that's that's kind of new on the agenda so i guess maybe that so who's winning I at like pokemon it. go i don't know if you can really win at it you just don't you collect them kill a whole lot yeah you collect them and you kill a whole lot of time so okay. i it's kind of it's kind of been a good uh a good uh fit for the clubhouse life especially because a lot of the stadiums end up being good spots for it, so it it, it, uh, oh, yeah, it works out well. Wow. Yeah. Maybe we should start doing that, Dan. I like Might that. Well. You know what? Let's Pokemon go at the All-Star game. We'll do that. Oh. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Perfect. Okay, now, now you've got we'll something. We'll run into to... Ryan on a street corner. He'll just be like, hey, what are you guys doing here? Wait, are you just here for flicking Pikachu? Flicking Pokeballs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, Ryan, thanks so much for coming on the show. You are always such a blast to talk to, and best of luck this season. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. 